did you feel like so they tried to take it away from you, or is it a, a burden that you have to bear? Because there's a lot of controversy with this film, uh, and just, just with your past as well. They sort of put that on to try to hurt the film, you think? Well, no, no, this is, this is what I think, you know. Uh, Nat Turner did what he did for us, you know. Um, you know, when I found out about Nat Turner, I was so inspired that when I became a filmmaker, I said, I need to make this film. Prayed, you know, went deep into prayer, like, how might I put this out? How might I do this? And there was a moment even where I said, well, if someone even came to me and said, you can make this, you can never make another film for the rest of your life, would you still do it? I said, yes, because I believe in the healing qualities of this film. I believe that when people see this film, they'll see this period of time with a different lens. And, it, and hopefully, it will inspire mm -hmm. uh, a different attitude toward how we might heal. Yeah. Because resistance, as it, as it pertains to, to Nat Turner, what he had to go through, I don't have to walk to no gallows and being stoned and lynched, literally. You know, yeah. That's what he went through. He was skinned. Yeah. They crushed his flesh to grease. That's history. Because they wanted to erase his legacy. Making a film is just making a film. That's it. I got it easy when yeah. it comes to some of the things our, our, our revolutionary heroes had to do in the past. You know, So the hope is that people can gain inspiration from his actions like I. Yeah, this is just a movie. Yeah. The hope is that people see it and they don't feel like it's just a movie, but they feel like they can be part of a movement that can change the conversation around how we interact. And despite people's personal opinions, why should they still go see this film? First of all, 400 plus people worked on this film. It ain't the work of just one person. Right. Praise the Lord. If I had to do it all by myself, I'd been done anyway. So many people, are, but also because I feel like so much of what we're trying to do is create solutions around systemic crisis, right? Why are, we still, why are we still dealing with the same stuff we were dealing with five years ago, 10 years ago, 50 years ago? Why are we still dealing with this, right? And I think a big part of it is that we're not willing to have a real conversation. We talk, we appropriate that feeling, like, yeah, you know what, this is gonna be good for the conversation around race. But when are we gonna have that conversation? When are we gonna pull people into a room and be like, now we talk about it? Like, when do we be like, you know what, bro? Like, yeah, you got privilege and I don't. You know, and that's, that makes me feel this way. Or you be, you know what, I do have some privileges. I might have to concede in some ways to allow space for there to be equality. I don't know. But at least not dodging that. I'm charged with leaving my kids with a better America and a better planet Earth. And so many, there's so many different injustices that happen every day. So I have to do my, my, my job um, in trying to leave it better when I'm gone for them and for their kids.